City Dog, Country Frog, Words by Mo Willems, Pictures by John J. Muth. How are you today, my friends? How are you today? I hope that you're okay, my... Oh, deep in my heart, I want to... I hope that you're okay today. Hi. Well, it's beautiful to see you. We're going to read a book that has such beautiful and gorgeous watercolor illustrations. Um, by John J. Muth, and words by our old friend Mo Willems. Um, it is a beautiful tale of friendship and growth and also of loss. A few months back, um, a cat, one of my cats, Emmy, who I've lived with for, I have lived with Emmy since 2000 and five or six, she passed away. And it was incredibly sad. It's actually, interestingly, I'm, uh, I'm in my 40s. And it was the first time that I lost a pet. How could that be, Mr. Greg? I'll tell you how that could be. We've already talked about how I've had fears of riding a bicycle and of swimming. Well, Another fear I had most of my life was a fear of animals. I had an incident when I was very young uh, with a dog of mine where the dog was uh, very frustrated about something having nothing to do with me and I didn't know how to interact with the dog and so the dog bit me. And uh, for the rest of my life, I was very hesitant and afraid and nervous and anxious around all animals, not just dogs, little dogs, big dogs, cats, bunnies, birds. And I eventually um, hung out with a, a lot of, a bunch of different animals and slowly but surely overcame that fear. But I never owned a pet in my life. And so the first time I owned a pet was Emmy really. And so um, it was also the first time that a pet of mine who I knew and loved for a long time died of old age. Um, and um, she died uh, with such a, a wonderful spirit. And, and, and we um, actually um, have her with us in our hearts uh, and in our minds. So um, this story really touches upon those issues, but um, with no humans involved. It's a, it's a dog, a city dog, and a country frog who become friends in their journey together. So let's read this book, okay? We already see on the splash page such beautiful green, sort of greenish yellow, and then it fades into a darker. I'm getting a little bit of glare from the window, but I think that will be fine. It may add some texture. And we'll see from this page that our story traverses four seasons. See, we have spring and summer and then autumn or fall. And then finally winter, an entire season, or an entire year of seasons. And we start with spring. Isn't he adorable? I have a dog, Katie, who has a white stripe going up her head just like this. City dog didn't stop on that first day in the country. He ran as fast and as far as he could, and all the way without a leash. Where is City Dog going? Oh. 
City Dog spotted something he had never seen sitting on a rock. It was Country Frog. What are you doing? asked City Dog. Waiting for a friend, replied Country Frog with a smile. But you'll do. Oh, how fun. It's a new friendship. I'm sorry about the movement. City Dog and Country Frog played together. City Dog was new to the country, so Country Frog taught him Country Frog games. Boom, 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 boom. It looks like they're dancing. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Frog. Country Frog's games involved jumping and splashing and croaking. I really quite love this illustration. Do you see how it's painted with four tails so you can tell, you know, when dogs are very happy, their tails do this or when they're excited. And that's an illustration of the dog's tail really wagging. You can see as City Dog dips his nose in the water, how it changes color and shape in the water. Really love that illustration and the movement in his tail. You can see it, you can feel it. Well, that was spring. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful, beautiful painting, huh? Such happy friends. You can see City Dog's tails poking out of the water there. That was spring. Well, of course, let me move my chair so I can be a little bit closer here. Of course, the next season is summer. It's summer right now where I am and probably where you are, but I'm in Pittsburgh. City Dog didn't stop to admire the green, green grass. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. And look, he's bringing a stick. Maybe he'll teach Country Frog a dog game. Hmm. I'm going to do you a favor, said City Dog when he found Country Frog. I'm going to teach you City Dog games. Oh my goodness, I was right. <laughs> That's exactly what he's going to do. That's exactly what he's going to do. Oh, and now we have a beautiful close-up of City Dog. City Dog's games involved sniffing and fetching and barking. Oh my goodness! Country Frog. See, here's another beautiful illustration where you see those white lines where you can tell that the frog has thrown and there's a line and that stick has gone all the way to here. And see, City Dog is running in that tail. There it is. So excited. City Dog and Country Frog played until Country Frog was too tired to sniff and fetch and bark anymore. Whew! All that sweat on his head. That was summer. How beautiful. See, City Frog doesn't, I mean, Country Frog doesn't mind getting wet, and he's holding a very large leaf because City Dog does not want to get wet. Hmm. Fall. I imagine in fall we're going to see more warm colors like orange and red and perhaps even yellow. Yep. Wow. City Dog did not stop to sniff the falling leaves. He ran straight for Country Frog's rock. Mr. Greg, of course, as always, bumped the camera. It's what I love to do, everybody. Oh, it's such a beautiful one. Country Frog, it looks like he's whispering in City Dog's ear. What shall we play today? Asked City Dog. Dog or frog games? Country Frog took a deep breath. I am a tired frog, replied Country Frog. Maybe we can play remembering games. City Dog and Country Frog sat together on the rock. They remembered their spring jumping and splashing and croaking. They remembered their summer sniffing and fetching and barking. I don't know if you notice, but they're sitting very quietly talking and in the clouds. 
you can see city dog and country frog. You see that? Let me bring that in closer. Right in the clouds. Such a beautiful illustration. And that was fall. Now I want to let you know something. You may know this already, but every creature, everything living, including plants and animals and people, we all have a natural life cycle. And of course, I have a tortoise and uh, tortoises generally live to be 110 or 20 or 30 or 40. And humans generally live to be 80 or 90 or 100. Of course, dogs, 10 or 15 or more. And frogs have a very short span. So we know that frog was feeling very tired in fall and we're coming up on winter. So let's move on to winter. Winter. And I imagine now we're going to have quite a bit of white and gray. Such beautiful winter. I love seeing these illustrations of winter and watercolor. Don't you? City Dog did not stop to eat the snow. He ran straight for Country Frog's Rock. My doggy Katie would always stop to eat the snow. But maybe if she had such a close friend like Country Frog, she wouldn't. City Dog looked for Country Frog. Hmm. See how City Dog's ears are up? It's exactly how dog's ears go up when they're interested or when they're searching for something. And do you see how City Dog's tail is being held like this, it's not wagging, but it's like at attention. And that also indicates that City Dog is very interested in finding a friend. Country Frog was not there. And of course, this is what my dog does when my dog is waiting for us to come home. She will sit at attention quietly, perhaps even a little bit sadly. Oh, and this is a full illustration. I'll bring this slowly across the camera for you. So beautiful. There's a lake frozen over. And then we can see that's where city frog, I mean country frog and city dog met. And country dog is waiting a very, very, very long time. That was winter. Still waiting. Spring again. We have the pink and the green and the white, such vibrant colors. Hmm. Country chipmunk spotted something she had never seen sitting on a rock. It was city dog. What are you doing? Asked Country Chipmunk. Waiting for a friend, replied City Dog sadly. <laughs> then he smiled a froggy smile. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And he said, but you'll do. Oh my goodness, and that was spring again. City Dog. By the way, I want to point out to you, I now realize that the splash page goes through spring and summer, and then in the back, fall and winter, an entire cycle, an entire season, right? That's, we're talking about the cycle. And you'll recall at the beginning of the story, Country Frog was waiting for a friend. And it told City Dog, but you'll do and they made this beautiful friendship. And then after Country Frog had passed, City Dog was sad, but when Country Chipmunk asked 
what he was waiting for. He said, a friend, but <laughs> and in remembering right here, you see his face looks so much. Here, let's find Country Frog smiling because it really is quite outstanding. See right there. And City Dog smiles in a way that is just like Country Frog. He makes a new friend. And you know, it's interesting because although we lost Emmy, um, you met our friends in the next, our friends in the next room, um, baby Sue and her five kittens. Remember when we went to visit them? By the way, I remembered the name. I forgot. The other kitten's name is Katniss. So there's M and V and Chonk and Katniss and Gray Kitty. And so I was able to, to have, make a, a friendship with a new kitty who reminds me a little bit of Emmy as well. She's very petite, very small. I think she's six pounds. And although she may not live with us forever, she may be fostered or she may live with us. And there will come a day where we say goodbye to her as well. And um, we find a new friend. And that doesn't mean it's not sad. There's so many emotions involved in everything, right? I mean, we learned a lot of those lessons um, uh, talking about Elephant and Piggy and um, how um, sometimes you can feel happy and hopeful, but at the same time sad. That's a word, there's a word, it's called bittersweet. I think we've talked about that, where it seems like something is bitter and it's sweet. And sometimes new friendships are like that, particularly if I've lost an old friendship. It's very complex, but beautiful. And I think it's very important to talk about it and to, to share those feelings. I mean, that's the way that we come to understand our feelings and the things around us, is we find people we love and trust, friends, and we talk and, and, we, and, we, and we validate, we accept, we, we honor, we help each other through the process of having our emotions. I'm really happy that you hung out with me today with City Dog and Country Frog and that you allowed me to talk to you a little bit about um, my kitty, Emmy, um, and I hope at some point if you ever want to talk with me about animal friends or special people who you found or lost, very happy to do so. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Do 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 do